It was here, at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, that Lucas Guerin first set down the fateful keystrokes that would lead to the creation of the project known as Twisty.js. He spent 12 hours coding at a hackathon, but little did he know what a journey he was starting, and that he would remain dedicated to it 10 years later. Luckily, newsreel footage survives from that very first evening, documenting what it was like. On July the 21st, 2011, Lucas Guerin participated in a hackathon called the Mozilla World Series of Hack. Lucas checked in at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California at 7.30 p.m. and coded for 12 consecutive overnight hours before presenting his work. His goal was to write a new cubing tool. At the time, there were existing applets. Yosef Yelinek had written AnimCube, an applet to visualize algs. Werner Randelshofer had built applets to visualize cubes of all sizes. Ryan Heiser had built HighGames.net, a site for people to race on virtual cubes. Lars Petrus had his own cubing site, describing his own method and using his own applets. Jeremy Fleischmann had written a family of puzzle simulators, from cubes to megaminx to square one. But all these tools were written with Java. Lucas wanted to write a new such tool using the newest powers of JavaScript. Yes, JavaScript, the scripting language of the World Wide Web, the little programming language that could. And now it could draw graphics. Lucas spent 12 hours furiously coding and testing. He coded a spinning square. He coded a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. He coded larger cubes. He coded a way to view and animate algs. He coded keyboard input. And in the end, he achieved what he had set out to make, a brand new cubing tool for the web. He gave it an ambitious new name, twisty.js. And so a new era was born. Well, you have to consider that in those days, the JavaScript ecosystem was very different. We didn't really know how to publish a JavaScript library. It was all applets, you know, Java applets. And we didn't really invest in changing that. And when you say we, you well, mean... I had some great help from my friend Jeremy Fleischmann. He added cube timing by detecting when you were inspecting the scramble, when you did your first move, uh, when you finished solving. He also helped organize the code, which was Still a little bit of a mess from the hackathon. And so did you ever finish cleaning up the mess? Uh, some of it. The part of the library that understood algorithms became its own thing called alg.js. You could use it to count how many moves the solve took, flip around an alg, simplify it. Um, those turned out to be pretty useful for me. And can you explain what you mean by useful? Um, yeah. So. Alt.js and twisty.js never really turned into a library like I hoped, but I used them to build alg.cubing.net, which I launched in, I think, February 2014. You could play back moves for cubes, flip them Lucas around. Lucas gave us um, a brief demonstration of alg.cubing.net showing how you could use it with algorithms. So this is usually used as an OLL alg. Uh, we can just show the stickers we care about. And here, Lucas demonstrates some of the more advanced features. So now this is turned uh, into a long form version where we can and take to actually cancel out the moves, we could click on simplify. And now we have the seven move version. Do the right. So you would just mirror what so you do. So twisty.js didn't catch, uh, I mean, I know what it's like. It's, it's like twisty.js is like the engine and alg.cubing.net is like the car. And the car is what turned out to be popular. Popular? Uh, yeah, it gets used uh, over a thousand times a day last that I checked. So uh, I guess we did something right. The core of it was always about sharing, and uh, people still use it to share algs all the time. So would you say you're happy with that? Happy, well, uh, there's a loaded concept right there. I suppose that we didn't get nearly much, as much done as I had hoped, but I suppose I've also learned to be happy with what we did get done. But we had big dreams in those early days, and those dreams never really went away but we couldn't really reach them by building directly from what we had. We had to start from scratch.
And, and you did start from scratch, right? That's what you call cubing.js or Twizzle or which one is it? Uh, yeah, so there's, uh, there's, a, there's a perfect parallel here. Cubing.js is like the, the new engine and Twizzle is the new car. So we're building a better engine and then using it to build a better car, but this car is gonna be super fancy. It's gonna be like a sports car. But I mean, we also want it to be simple to use and I mean, we'll have to see, it's, it's still in, in the workshop. So can you tell us just a little bit more? Uh, well, that, that'll be a story for another day. Sometime soon is all I can say for now. Well, it sounds like you have a long way to go, so best of luck with it and thanks for your time. Well, thank you. Uh, we'll see what the future holds.